I feel like a winner now. I, I truly feel it. It's not like that glamorous feeling, but it's like that solid inner home safetyness feeling and it just feels so beautiful. And I just want you to know that this reality can exist for you. Whew. Finally being my true authentic self. Now today there was one very vivid memory that came back to me and that was the time just before my relationship had ended. I've gotten this job where I was able to work from home for four days a week and go to the office once a week. The salary that I was paid was reasonable for the amount of work I had to do. So once the relationship mutually ended, I started building that dream life that I've always wanted to live. At the time, I was willing to leave the house at 3.45 a.m. to arrive at Bondi by 6 a.m. to see the sunrise. Then by 6.30 a.m. I'd already be jumping into the water and and doing my laps and soon after I was living the exact way that I wanted to. I had my own room in the exact location that I wanted to be in and I felt like I was on top of the world. That was also the first time where I started shredding in a way that I've always wanted to. For a very long time I had no idea how to truly lose weight and sustain it until my entire identity changed. I was walking many kilometers per day and swimming three to seven laps was a normal thing for me whereas before that swimming in the baby pool was a normal thing and I didn't have the courage to even swim one lane in the adult's pool. And since this was two years ago, I'd always think back of that time and remember how much I loved myself. I felt so empowered in my own feminine frame and I felt like everything was possible for me around that time. And I guess I kept connecting back to those memories now that I feel like I'm about to reach that stage again. But the only difference was that I had so much unhealed trauma at the time that I would make all these really bad decisions, both of my finance and my love life, that everything just crumbled only a few months after I just couldn't get back I just couldn't get back up and every day just felt really really dark there was this last five thousand dollars in my bank account and I had to figure out how am I going to spend it in a way that it will propel me for a permanent life change so I used that five thousand dollars to go back and live exactly where I wanted to live I also took myself to Bangalore to live in this house by myself for about two to three days and I was able to meet these people that came from Sydney to Bangalore and we were talking about healing and relationships and her journey after four years of divorce and those were the times that I felt the most vulnerable and less masculine. But at some point, because I felt so fearful towards life, that I would turn back on my masculine mode. And my masculine mode was all about chasing success, chasing the feeling of I can definitely win against my life situation. So I started committing myself to public speaking because every time I spoke, I felt more confident and liberated, especially when people are listening and giving me feedback. For the next one or two years, I was very solid in this identity that I was Patty, who always wanted every time as she did but I never held this identity that I was Patty who deserved to have lucky girl syndrome because I was raised in a way where love had to be earned by taking masculine action at least on my mom's side that life just kept repeating the same dynamic where I felt like I always had to turn on my masculine cap on to meet people's needs to always put other people's concerns above my own feelings that just completely fell apart again around December of 2023 now mind you because I'm a big believer also in Joey Dispenser's book you are the placebo. I never believed that I would ever get sick no matter how many laps I swim, no matter how cold the water is, or no matter how much I work out, I would never get sick. But in December of 2023, my health actually fell apart and I had no idea that I was going to be lying down my bed and not being able to properly work out, not being able to leave the home to go and enjoy Christmas and New Year's Eve simply because I had to recover. So I made a promise to myself before New Year's Eve that I was going to make 2024 all about meeting my inner child's needs. No matter what happens, I will always take care of the little girl inside of me and I will never let her suffer the way that she did ever again. And because I approached this year with that mindset, I started really putting all of my energy back into my body. Every single day, I was willing to shut up my phone, not check my text messages and work on my true purpose. And while I have to admit that I wasn't 100% in my feminine energy, but I soon came to the realization of what the point of 2024 was truly for me. And that was to really live life from a detached place and never settle for less than I deserve. It meant that I wasn't going to let anybody tell me that in order for me to be successful, I must go and get this kind of job. I must go back and study this way. I must live life this way. I must dress this way. I wasn't going to let anybody tell me what to do, who to apologize to, and what my responsibilities were when they were not relevant to my future. And the minute I was just committing to that practice every day, letting go of the garbage treatment, letting go of the mediocrity that I don't want to live in, letting go of my old self who was a people pleaser, who always 
always tried to settle for less because she didn't believe that there was an alternate reality where I could have exactly what I want and it was never too much to ask for. Every day, even though I get these weird nostalgic dreams, I would start thanking myself in the morning that thank you Patty for finally knowing who you are. Thank you Patty for finally coming home to you. There were so many times where I never felt still within myself. I had to rely on this one guy for me to feel safe and to set myself free from that dynamic is the best gift I've ever given to myself. All the decisions that I make in the present moment is very congruent to the ideal me that I want to embody in the future. Whether it's getting on a camera to film myself in the weekend, instead of going out to see what experiences I can accumulate, instead of going out there to chase for happiness, I knew that my happiness was speaking on camera and nurturing my girls who are watching my videos and they trust in my information. The quality of your comments that you leave on my videos, the quality of thought that you give into writing these comments makes such a big difference to me this year. So if you guys are constantly questioning yourself and wondering why is the universe unfair to me? Why isn't he showing up the way that I want to be shown up for? You guys have to be so deliberate that I don't need to experience any mediocrity in my reality and you have to be fearless about walking away from anything that doesn't serve you in order for you to make space for all the right things to enter your life. If you want to open up your phone and see I love you babe message from the exact person you want to receive it from, then you must have the conviction that you can become that girl who is aligned to the reality where she's receiving all the messages, the beautiful treatments, the opportunities to flourish in the exact way that makes you feel so fulfilled and happy. And the other thing I feel so passionate about sharing with you is eating patterns and weight loss. Guys, I've never experienced the feeling of finally just being happy with my body. And I'm not just being happy in a way where, oh, I can't get what I want, so I'm just going to be happy with it. But I'm genuinely happy in the way I sustained my eating patterns, my workout rhythms, and how my body is refusing to go back to its survival mode. For my whole life, my body was picked apart in a way where if I wanted to wear short shorts, I would be told, oh, your thighs are too thick. If I want to wear a singlet and something that made me feel comfortable, I would be told, oh, you look cheap for wearing that. And that just made me feel so self-conscious that it influenced my eating patterns. It influenced what kind of food I was going to eat. But most importantly, it influenced me on what kind of portions I should take in. Because I didn't have a high self-worth, I would let myself eat as much as I want. And I never believed I had full control over how much I was eating because I didn't feel good enough to stop when I'm full. But recently, I gave myself the firm conviction that as long as you want to make this beach clip successful, I would never let you settle for that kind of eating dynamic again. Even though today, I'm not exactly eating 100% clean, but I'm eating everything that I love in small portions. Recently, I've been learning how to make these Thai snacks and Korean rice cake, and I feel so damn proud of myself. There were so many nights where I would crave these Thai snacks that are actually in the CBD, and the thought of traveling there just to buy those Thai snacks were not worth it for me. So I start to learn all the nitty gritties of how to make these desserts. And when I'm able to just savor the flavors, to really appreciate my own craft, and to really understand when is enough, that beautiful experience always lasts within me. It's like the best and most happiest moment ever. You guys, I know how it feels like to eat yummy food, but imagine that beautiful feeling of savoring the flavors. They're just always there because you don't let yourself get bloated. We are normalizing the attitude that the more we eat, the more we explore, the more we become foodies, the more happier we become. But actually, the true happiness is your ability to control your portions. Still eat what you love, but understand your body capacity and love yourself enough to really find that balance so that you can achieve your life's mission. And the one last thing I want to share with you is that I've always had this dynamic where I felt resentful and bitter towards every single guy that hurt me. I was able to look back now and realize that almost no exes or no guy that came into my life were bad people. There may be some con artists and weirdos here and there. And those con artists are not just guys, they were girls as well. But in terms of my relationships in my younger years, I realized that a lot of pain was inflicted within me. And for this most recent dynamics, as I said again, I've been waking up almost every morning having these dreams about him. Sometimes they're good dreams, sometimes they're weird dreams. But I've never felt empty after those dreams. Sometimes I get scared like, dance like every morning like why but I really appreciate him so much in helping me evolve into the person that I am today without this individual it would have been extremely hard for me to find that complete autonomy over my own life because he has told me that as long as you really embrace the most feminine the most beautiful divine goddess part of you you will always manifest exactly anything that you want there are not many girls that get to really experience that home inner safety feeling with the man that they love because the 
will meet a lot of douchebags on dating apps or they will meet guys that are not fully into or the guy that they're fully into will not give them that home experience. And I was so lucky to have this individual in my life to really validate to me that as long as you raise your vibration, as long as you are clear that this is what you want. Today, I just want to lie down and relax. I've done so much work. I went to all these beaches. I want to just sit down in a bar for maybe one hour, but I just want to close my eyes and lie down next to you. That's all I want. I didn't have time to sit down with somebody that is not guaranteed to be my boyfriend and just to test out to see the waters because I just had these things to edit. And I'm just so proud of myself for the fact that as much as I did really want a committed relationship, number one, I don't think I was in the capacity to really have it. But number two, I just really respected myself for not feeling so thirsty because let's be honest, humans are humans. Unless you're really, really into the guy, what's the point of you going to sit down with them for two hours when that two hours could be my next clip, my next video that could potentially blow my channel up? Why would I waste my time like that? And because I just refuse to settle for that kind of lifestyle, now I'm feeling like everything is so aligned. I feel like I wake up each day feeling a bit pissed off at my environment. But other than that, I just feel like this feels so right. I finally feel like I'm in the right place in my life. Everything is now conforming. Whatever manifestation videos, the thousand hours I put in to listen to manifestation videos, I feel like it's happening for me. That I'm no longer listening to these YouTube advice that you can effortlessly manifest anything that you want as long as you raise your vibration. But I'm really raising my vibration and I'm experiencing exactly what these people are saying. You know those videos where you can instantly get him to text you. It's like, why would I want to receive a text only? If I was really, really into him, why would I just want to see a high from him without having cuddles? So the thing that we want is not even the text message but we want the longevity and the continual progression of that relationship so instead of me spending my day trying to affirm and script and trying to manifest a text message I was spending each day trying my best to reach my fullest potential it was very hard emotionally because you know you put in the work but the following result is not reflecting exactly what you expect right away but other than that it just feels so liberating that even though I know that you can do all these techniques and affirmations to manifest text messages and sorry messages and love letters but I guess the most rewarding thing that you can truly do is to work on becoming that diamond. Work on feeling like, oh my god, I feel precious now. I'm beautiful. I'm actually quite worth it actually. I feel like a winner now. I, I truly feel it. It's not like that glamorous feeling, but it's like that solid inner home safetyness feeling and it just feels so beautiful. And I just want you to know that this reality can exist for you. This reality is so possible for you. But I'm not going to tell you that you have to raise your vibration and follow your joys to have exactly what you want. But I want you to actually decide that no matter what your environment is showing you, no matter what what annoyingness, what narcissist, toxicity, bullshit that is presented to you. You're not going to accept less than you deserve. You're not going to accept the bare minimum treatment or the bare minimum results from anything. If you want gold, you're going to align yourself to become the gold and attract the gold. You will never behave like a street rock and try to chase the gold because you know that you are worth it. You are the diamond and I'm just so passionate about telling you over and over again, all of you have inherent worth within you and you deserve to realize it and really embody it every day. Because once you really wake up to that feeling, it's such an inner peace and harmony feeling in a way where, damn, all my suffering was quite worth it. I'm so grateful for all those times that I've cried, all those times that I fell asleep at night feeling so scared of life. I'm so grateful that I came on the other side of it. It's the most rewarding feeling ever. Whew. Okay guys, so I'm just going to end the video at here. I think I want to mix this up with having scripted content. So if you guys like my video, please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. And also let me know what kind of topics you want to see. Other than that, I really wish you guys a beautiful week. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.